this lecture we are covering up the topic of job work. What is called job work? Job work this is any activity on the goods supplied and rather actually supply what we cannot use here because in GST meaning differs goods belonging to another any activity on the goods belonging to another so these goods may be inputs or those may be semi-finished goods the goods which are provided by another person those may be inputs, those may be semi-finished goods, right? And what is the impact of the activity? This is not important. Why it is, I am saying not important? Because this may result into manufacture or it may not be a manufacture. quite possible inputs are sent for job work so that those become ready for use in the manufacture isn't it say ready-made garment manufacturer he is sending the entire lot of the fabric for cutting to the job worker after the cutting it will come back in the factory and then the stitching will be done that is the first step in the same example a stitched ready made garments are sent to the finishers they will give the finishing touches and pack it that is the last step so at which point in the entire process job work is needed that becomes absolutely immaterial what is important is that this is some activity the activity may have the effect of manufacture it may not have the effect of manufacture on the goods these goods may be inputs may be semi finished goods and the goods are belonging to another means the person who is carrying out the job work will never have the ownership of these goods right so after the job work when the goods are returned by the job worker whether that is supply of goods or supply of services if you refer schedule 2 job work is treated as a service right now when the job work has been completed the goods are returned right now three options are available after the completion of job work quite possible goods are required to be sent to another job worker or finished goods are returned to the principal or the goods are removed directly from the premises of job work so after the job work what right three options first send to another job worker number two return to the principal and number three those are removed now removal for maybe domestic supply maybe export domestic supply is on payment of taxes export either after payment of taxes or without paying taxes 
बट रिमूवल फ्रॉम द प्लेस ऑफ जॉब वर्कर बाय द प्रिंसिपल इज अलाउड ओनली इफ द प्लेस ऑफ जॉब वर्कर हैज बीन डिक्लेयर्ड विद द प्रिंसिपल एज हिज एडिशनल प्लेस ऑफ वर्क इट इज ऑलरेडी डिक्लेयर देन ओनली गुड्स कैन बी रिमूव डायरेक्टली फ्रॉम द प्रेमिस ऑफ जॉब वर्कर अदरवाइज नॉट ओके नो actually whatever we are going to talk about in this chapter everything we have already done before nothing new in this okay so what can be sent to the job worker goods for job work these goods can be either capital goods or those can be inputs and this includes semi finished goods also right capital goods may be supplied from the premises of principle or directly to job worker if the goods required for job work are already there in the premises of the principal then those can be supplied from the premises of the principal otherwise the principal can send these goods directly to the job worker right same thing applies here also same thing applies here also right now what is about the input tax credit if the goods are being removed from the premises of the principal when those are supplied for the job work at that time whatever credit has already been taken that need not be reversed but how do we know it is being sent to for the job work not for no, those are not being supplied otherwise for that a prior intimation is required to be given of course once that what kind of job work is required and where those are being sent and that place of the job worker is already declared as another place of business so all that is required so when the capital goods or inputs are sent from the premises of the principal then input tax credit need not be paid back he will continue to be in possession or you can say eligible to continue with the credit right and when those are not received from the premises of the principal those are sent directly to the job worker then the principal can avail the credit when capital goods or inputs are received by the job worker getting it so we can put a title send wet credit or other input tax credit for this right